talented local artists while also giving the community a platform to view and interact with art in ways that they've never viewed and interacted with art before in a home, in a setting where art ultimately lives, have that experience be a leisurely for Florida experience only accessible via boat. So we're staying true to our mission statement. You know, we're still the same guys from year one and, and we're glad to have this event for our community and really succeed in pushing the needle forward uh, for Fort Lauderdale. Uh, I wanted to rattle off a couple numbers for you to put in perspective some of the scope of what we have going on this week. So within our Fort Lauderdale, which Andrew and I co-founded and produced, we have four days of an art fair with four exhibit locations Vernissage preview and opening reception tonight. We have 12 artist talks, which are free and open to the public. We just had the first one yesterday with the Thousand Mermaids Project. We have three nightly after parties, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, at the Conrad, the Ritz, and the W, respectively. We have some pairings dinners set up. Uh, if you didn't hear about those, we set up some intimate, limited pop-up dinners at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel on Friday, where a collector or a foodie can pair the artists that they're choosing for a limited, exclusive, intimate dining experience with an amazing uh, menu created by Chef Paula De Silva from Hell's Kitchen, uh, who is the executive. And with uh, some exclusive champagne pairings from Boot. We also have a brunch with the French Collective Obvious Sunday at uh, Boatyard. Obvious is the French Collective that created the first AI-generated artwork that auctioned at Christie's for $432,000. We're flying them in, uh, and they'll be here tomorrow night, uh, Friday night. Um, we also have created Fort Lauderdale Art and Design Week, which is a week full of satellite fairs with the architecture fair with the AIA Fort Lauderdale, the Sistrunk Affair happening at Sistrunk with Al Huggins and Emmanuel George. Uh, there is the, the Art Walk. There is tons of things going on, open studio tours. You can find all of that at Fort Lauderdale Art and Design Week. And this is just the iteration and the growth of our Fort Lauderdale to expand out into the community. We can only fit so many people on the boats and in the homes at one time. Uh, I wanted to make sure to thank um, our participating partners and sponsors. I couldn't do this without you guys. Uh, so we're very grateful for Bank of America joining this year for the first time. Yes, Bank of America Fine Art Lending Division, Mr. John Arena, thank you very much. Um, JM Lexis, Moe and Shandan, um, United Screw, Choose 954, Art Money, which is an interest-free art lending platform if you guys want to buy some art. 10 interest-free uh, payments. Um, South Florida Luxury TV, Bellissima Mount Fine Art Services, our art handler. The uh, Greater Fort Lauderdale uh, Realtors Association, GFLR RIPB. Las Olas Capital Arts, Jody Tanner, Paul Tanner. Can't thank you guys enough. God bless, love you. Um, Miniman Press, Maria Medina. Miniman Press, Will Manners, thank you. Uh, the Greater Fort Lauderdale Conventioners and Visitors Bureau and definitely their PR agency, Finn Partners. They've been instrumental in helping us get the press and helping us get things out there. Um, we'd also like to thank the Visitors Bureau of the Island of Bahamas. Andrew was able to pull that one off, being from the islands. Uh, Museum of Discovery and Science, thank you Joe Cox for letting us use the room there. Um, Nova Southeastern University and NSU Art Museum, we'll have some talks there with Obvious on Sunday. Uh, and then we have some great beverage partners, Belvedere, Hennessy, Volcan, Tequila, Lemurani, Stillhouse, Yami, um, our realtor partners, the realtors partner with us to let us use their listings. Can't thank Julie Jones, for Luxurious Properties enough, Kim Hackett, um, Maria, Claude, Chip, everybody from Florida Luxurious, Sher yep, and Cheryl Holder from um, Holder and Hotchkiss and Troy, phenomenal as well. Uh, I couldn't do this without the realtors because the homes are 